Hey there, viewers. Friday and Saturday are the best times to unwind after a hectic work week. But we've all had those times where we've partied a little too hard. Drinking too much alcohol can leave you with several issues the morning after. This includes embarrassing Facebook videos. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. Not only can a hangover slow you down, it also makes your breath stink. In today's video, we're talking about ways to get rid of alcohol breath. Do cough drops help? How about eating peanut butter? Wait, I thought coffee made your breath smell worse. We're talking about all of that and more. Number 1. Coffee Yes, it's possible to get bad breath from drinking coffee, but it's usually regular coffee drinkers who have this problem. The coffee is usually loaded with sugar, which remains in your mouth for a while. This is why black coffee is the better option. Drinking black coffee has two benefits. First off, your mouth will smell better. Just a couple sips alone will have it smelling better than beer. Secondly, coffee is a stimulant. It can effectively combat all the drowsiness you're feeling from the night before. It'll help you glide smoothly through that important morning meeting or lecture. This isn't exactly a refreshing smell, but it can mask your foul breath for the time being. Remember not to add creamers or sweeteners to your coffee. It'll make things less effective. Having dairy or sugar sit in your mouth will only make things smell worse. Chewing on roasted coffee beans can also help. Say goodbye to that awful beer breath. Do you prefer coffee breath over alcohol breath? Do you prefer coffee buzz over booze? Sound off in the comments below and start a conversation with our bestie community. Number 2. Peanut Butter Most people love peanut butter. If you're not allergic, the benefits are countless. It can maintain blood sugar levels and the correct amount can even help you lose weight. It's great for reducing the chances of breast cancer as well. But there's one benefit of peanut butter I bet you never thought of. It can save your breath after a night of heavy drinking. Really thick peanut butter sticks to your mouth and throat for quite a while. This can cover up the bad smell for a bit. If you're looking for something quick to eat after a night of partying, have a peanut butter sandwich. Not only can it improve your breath, it'll also fill your stomach for a bit. Admit, a peanut butter sandwich is good any time of day. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all of our great bestie content. Number 3. Cough Drops These lozenges are usually used for temporary relief from sore throat and mild cough. It'll increase the production of saliva in your mouth. More saliva allows your throat to flush down alcohol and food particles. This will mask the awful beer breath. As for the flavor, well, that doesn't really matter. But if you want the best results, choose the non-fruity kind. Flavors like orange will not wash away the stink as effectively. As a result, your stink breath will remain. Number 4. Chewing Gum Heading out for a night of partying? Don't forget to stop at your nearest gas station and pick up a pack of gum. Some mint-flavored gum will have your breath smelling fresh for the time being. If you drink a glass of red wine, special compounds called tannin will stain your teeth. When you pop in a piece of gum, it can help clean off the stains. It goes to work fighting the compounds and cleaning your teeth. After a while, your breath will smell a whole lot better. Here's another important benefit of chewing gum. Too much drinking can make you throw up at times. We've all had those nights. It's enough to ruin your evening. Well, chewing gum will reduce your feeling of nausea and keep the drowsiness away. This could prevent you from puking. Choose flavored minty gum over fruity chewing gum. Actually, there's also sour gum. It can increase the amount of saliva in your mouth. Before we continue, here's something that might interest you. Chewing gum can help get your body in shape. It'll chisel out your jawline. But this isn't the only trick you should know about. Watch 15 ways to get a perfect, chiseled jawline. Number 5. Mouthwashes Most people have some sort of mouthwash sitting at the end of their sink. If you've been out partying the night before, it comes in handy. Usually, mouthwash has antibacterial properties. They come in minty flavors of every kind. Choose a strongly flavored mouthwash over a mild one. The minty scent will fight bacteria and help cover up your alcohol breath. Oh yeah, special tip. 
make sure your mouthwash is fortified with alcohol. I know it seems counterproductive, but fighting fire with fire will work in this case. This doesn't mean you drink more alcohol. The mouthwash you use just needs to have traces of alcohol in it. This will kill a lot of germs and bacteria lingering in your mouth. Swirl the liquid around for 30 seconds or so. This will keep your mouth feeling fresh for a while. If you don't have mouthwash in your bathroom, don't worry. There's something else you can do. Number 6. Brush your teeth. I don't mean to sound like your mom, but this one's really important. Brushing is one of the best things you can do for any type of bad breath. Forgetting to brush is usually one of the reasons people have bad breath in the first place. Spend an extra couple minutes giving those pearly whites a good scrub. Make sure you're using lots of toothpaste. In order for this to be effective, your brush needs to reach all corners of your mouth, even those harder to reach places. If you have a little extra time, brush your tongue for a minute or so. You'll notice your breath smelling much better, and so will other people. Number 7. Eat food. Having some food after drinks can reduce alcohol breath. The food absorbs the extra alcohol from entering your body. It also stimulates your mouth to produce more saliva. Eating helps to maintain basic hydration. The next time you're out at the bar, make sure you take a look at the menu. You may often get complimentary munchies like peanuts, popcorn, or chips at the table. This way you have something to chew on instead of loading yourself up with booze. You can also try ordering garlic and onion-based foods. They have special compounds that can fight against the lingering beer breath. Get red onion over white onion. It's stronger and more powerful. Number 8. Drink lots of water. Anyone who's had a drunken night knows the feeling of your mouth going dry. This is due to dehydration. Your body is screaming out for more water. This is why it's good to have a few glasses throughout the night. This will help you flush out toxins and increase the water content in your body. Also, with proper water balance, your system will function effectively. Water can also improve your concentration and memory. To avoid passing out or having blackouts, gulp plenty of water. Having those extra glasses of water will increase your visits to the bathroom. Plus, if you don't want alcohol-soaked food to sit in your mouth for hours on end, water helps wash it down. Number 9. Shower Believe it or not, stepping into a warm shower can help your breath. Who knew? The smell of booze can sit in your mouth for a while. If you really want to get rid of this nasty smell, you need to shower. Alcohol breath settles on your skin, pores, and hair. A wash with soap, shampoo, and conditioner is needed if you want to feel fresh again. Here's a fun fact for you. The real source of bad breath is not your mouth, but your lungs. When you drink alcohol, it's absorbed by your stomach and mixes with your blood. The waste products are thrown out of your body through your urine and your breath. The methods we've discussed will only help mask this odor. It will not remove your bad breath completely. These methods will not be able to fool a breathalyzer either, so don't think that you can fool the cops. Until the alcohol has been completely broken down and eliminated from your body, you'll still have to deal with the stink. It sounds gross to examine your own poop, but the color and shape will have a lot to say about your health. Have I sparked your interest? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Watch 10 things your poop says about your health. You should also check out warning signs and prevention of anal cancer. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both, and learn more about how to watch for disease. What do you do to get rid of alcohol breath? Let us know in the comments below.